And now at 11, a heartbroken mother pleading for answers after her son was found shot to death in 2018. The body of 28 year old Devon Sims was found near an apartment complex in Tucker. CBS 46's Tori Cooper spoke with his mother tonight about this unsolved murder. Ashley Tracy Sims says every Father's Day, her son and her would spend Father's Day right here in their Lithonia neighborhood. And now it's a holiday that's filled with devastation and tears. So this is Davon. It's been three years. And this is Aaliyah and Amir, his two daughters. But nearly every Father's Day, Tracy Sims looks at her son's picture and tries to find an explanation for his two daughters, Amia and Aaliyah. She put her hand on her daddy grave. Like. <laughs> her son, Davon Sims, was just 28 years old when police say someone shot and killed him outside of this apartment complex on Gladeview Parkway on January 16th, 2018 in Tucker. Witnesses in the area at the time say they heard arguing and then a gunshot. What they did to my son was uncalled for and they left him there. Davon didn't show up for work for two days at his meatpacking job. His phone kept going to voicemail and now his mom says she knows why. I think Davon was set up because he didn't get robbed. They didn't take his house keys, they didn't take his cell phone, they didn't take his wallet, they didn't take his money. Police do not believe the motive was robbery either. They still have no suspect information, but his mother believes she knows who did it. So I called um, his ex-girlfriend, Natalia Branson, who I really think has something to do with it as well. Sim says she believes her son's ex-girlfriend set up her son's murder with help from others. They were supposed to have a baby together. And before all this happened, she moved out and she took everything with her. She says many of Davon's friends tell her they know who killed her son, but no one will come forward directly. I want people to know that I haven't given up on my son. She holds gatherings every December to find new info and keep her son's name alive, hoping someone will come forward. So for those who do know anything about what happened January the 16th of 2018 at 13, 12, apartment complex in East Ponce and Stone Mountain. Please speak up. Picture that you're looking at right now from one of the gatherings that she holds every year in her son's honor. You can see all of his friends are still there. She says she learns many new details during these gatherings, but tonight she's hoping that this firm reminder for the community is incentive for someone to come forward with more information. Now, if you are that person, she's asking you to reach out to the Cab County Police Department and make sure that you let them know any information that you can share. Reporting live in Lithonia, I'm Tori Cooper, CBS 46 News.